G'day guys, welcome to today's vlog. I am first thing in the morning editing a video and getting it uploaded because I am behind on my videos at the moment of recording this vlog. Because like I said in yesterday's vlog, I was behind, I didn't get to upload a video. Just editing this vlog, getting it up, so then I'm par and level where I'm supposed to be. And then I'll have to edit another video tonight as well, just to keep on track. So I managed to get the video uploaded, so now I'm up to date. I just gotta edit the video that I'll have to edit tonight. It was good to get the video edited early this morning. It's good to eat a frog super early in the morning. Set you up for the rest of the day. Right now I'm about to head out, do a bit of a thrift. I'm sourcing mainly for Amazon products this week. I just wanna get my Amazon inventory up and going so then I can get the income flowing there. But if I do find some cool eBay stuff or Etsy stuff, I'll pick it up too. But my main focal point is Amazon stuff at the moment. So they have a bunch of PS1 games here. But I'm gonna get all these titles here. About eight games at 4.25 each. So that was a pretty cool score. Picked up all these games. Let me get to the car and I'll go through with them individually and show you guys which ones I picked up. Each game was 4.25. So here they are. I got the action game featuring Hercules, uh, the Disney action game, 4.25. I did look them up individually when I was in there just to make sure that I was gonna make enough and not lose any profit on it. The Raymond game, 425 as well. I also made sure to open up each one, check the discs, and also just check their condition. Most of them are pretty good. Well, I think the Spider Man, or maybe it's um, the Toy Story one, has pretty heavy scratching, but we'll test them and see if they work. So I've got the Toy Story 2 game, Spider Man 2, Odd World, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Resident Evil and also Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. All for a total of $33, looking at maybe $200 plus, I'm not 100% sure though. What I think I might do is call it a day, I spent probably like 20 minutes in that op shop, got about $200 worth of stuff, so I'm pretty happy with that, I'm going to call it a day from here on, get back home early and get some stuff done I reckon. Sounds like a plan. I would have hoped to have got some stuff for Amazon today, but that just might have to wait for another day. So I made it back home, what I'm going to do is look up each individual game that I picked up today and just see what sort of profit we're looking at for each game. First game is Spider-Man 2, these are all PlayStation 1 games and I paid $4.25 for each one. I did get $1 off all of them when I checked out at Salvo's. With this Spider-Man we're looking at $27 with free shipping. Shipping is going to cost $2.50 to 3 bucks. Then the completeds for Oddworld PlayStation, the Platinum Edition, it's looking like 35 bucks free shipping. So again, shipping is going to cost 3 bucks or so, and I paid $4.25. With the Star Wars The Phantom Menace, episode number one, we're looking at maybe $24, one sold for almost 30 bucks plus shipping. So what I might do is just list it as 30 free shipping. Again, shipping is going to be three bucks or so. One did sell from the UK for $35.99 plus shipping. So I'm just going to go 30 bucks. Someone also has one listed for $124 for a brand new sealed edition of this one. With the Raymond PlayStation 1 game, we paid $4.25 again, and we're looking at about $21.50. One sold around six or seven days ago for $21.50 free shipping. So I might list mine for $19.99. Next is the Disney action game featuring Hercules. Again, $4.25. The comps are looking like $19.99 plus postage. Then we have $28.50. I might price it at around 25 bucks or so because one didn't sell at 28 free shipping. So about 25 free shipping I think should be a good price. Then we have Resident Evil. Someone sold this one about 11 days ago for 40 bucks free postage. Then someone else sold another one for $30 plus 10 shipping. So that's another 40 bucks there. So I'm gonna list it for 39.99 free shipping. And then we have Harry Potter. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. That one is going for $19.99 and $20, bucks, both free postage. So I'll just price mine around $19.99 as well. Last, we have Toy Story 2, Buzz Lightyear to the Rescue, PlayStation 1. 
One sold for $44.99, as you can see that one right there. Then there's $21.99, some didn't sell for around $40. One sold for $15, which is a bit too cheap. Then we have $37, $16.50, that was on a bid, so that was a bit cheap. So what I think I might do is price it around $35 to $40, bucks, free shipping. I also have these Nikes, these Nike free 4.0 fly knits in the blue. If you can see that in the lighting in here. They are a little bit used, but they're in pretty good condition. Comps are looking like 130 not sold, 99.99 sold down here. So I'm gonna put mine at about 90 bucks. I paid around $19 for these. Just made a couple of sales. A pair of shoes and a CD, that's all it was. That's all that's going out today. So this Elvis Presley CD sold for 10 bucks and then we have and then we have these Nike Air Maxes sold for $55. So I got all the items listed. I listed all the PS1 games and those Nike shoes as well. The last item, item number 10 for today that I've listed or just about to list because I've been doing other work as well. But I want to get my eBay listings done for today. I was putting up this jacket here, this, this super dry jacket. And this one is exactly the same as what sold here. This one sold for $84. So I'm going to put this one up for maybe $80, bucks, $79.99 or something like that. I paid $15 for it. I thought I was only going to get like $40 bucks for it, but... Seeing this one that's sold, and they only use two words, super dry jacket, but I'm going to put in much more better keywords. Hopefully that should result in a better sale, but let's just see how we go. I also created five designs for merch items, so I was getting some designs done. What I'm doing is just searching a hobby. For example, I did chess, and then I just came up with some designs for in relation to chess, and I'm going to promote it by going to Facebook groups about chess and saying, hey... Uh, I've got this t-shirt, do you want to check it out, kind of stuff like that, and, and other tactical ways as well. But yeah, that's what I've been working on. So, might get some more work done as well, but thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, and also drop a comment down below if you have any questions. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's one. Bye.